I'm Megan Dahlman with Dahlman Elite Training Systems and today I'm going to walk you through an advanced TRX training workout. And I recommend this workout for someone who has got great experience on the TRX and they're looking for something that's a little bit more challenging and more metabolic but quick. So this workout actually has three separate circuits. The first circuit is going to be two core exercises back to back. The second circuit is three exercises back to back and the same with the third circuit. And each of them have some power exercises that are a part of it. So it's pretty metabolic and it moves quick. So let me walk you for, through the first two exercises. These are the core exercises. So we're going to start with a tall body saw plus pike. Those two exercises together. And then we'll do also a side plank with an elbow to knee touch. So here's the two exercises back to back. And I'm going to show you 10 reps of each one. And then we'll move on. So you want to set the TRX up to about mid-level. Place your toes in and we're going to start with the tall body saw plus pike. So out in a tall plank position, good flat plank, you're going to slide back into the body saw, come forward and up into a pike. So there's one. Slide back, up into a pike. Make sure your back doesn't sag as you're sliding back into that plank, into the body saw. Here's five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. So now we're going to move into a side plank. Normally with a side plank, you're going to have your top foot in front, but this time we're going to move it so the back foot is in front. Stretch that top arm straight out overhead. You're going to reach this elbow to meet that bottom knee. Two, three, four. Make sure you're not sagging at all through your hips. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Put your feet back together. Rotate sides. You're going to move under. Bottom foot goes in front again, nice and steady. Reach that arm weight out over her head, elbow to knee. Seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good, so those are the two core exercises that you would do back to back. So you would go back to the tall body soft plus pike, and then finish with the elbow to knee again. You can go back and forth for two sets or three sets. So we're going to move on to the next circuit. This circuit consists of an, a suspended lunge with a hop, or touch and hop. We're also going to do an atomic push-up, and then we're going to finish with mid-level rows. So for the suspended lunge with hop, place one foot in. In a suspended lunge position, make sure you always have good posture throughout this exercise. We're going to do eight reps of everything here. We're going to start with our lunge, touch on the bottom, hop overhead. And then go right back down. Here's three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight. Switch feet. Other foot goes in and go on this side. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is eight. We're going to immediately get out and go into our atomic push up. So both feet are in. This is a push up with a crunch. Knees come in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. So now you're going to stand up and finish this circuit off with a row. Eight reps of these. And that's where you would rest. 
So you do those three exercises back to back, the suspended lunge with touch and hop, the atomic push-up, and the mid rows. So that was one set, two, through, go through it again, maybe one or two more times. So the last circuit, we're going to start with bridges, and we're going to set this up a little higher. Bridges, tricep press, and power pulls. So the bridges, we're going to set the straps up a little higher, so the resistance is a little harder, you've got to get higher. So we're going to go eight bridges, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stand up, we're going to do tricep press, feet are back by the door, lock your hips in, strong tricep press. So you let your arms fall a little bit higher up overhead, you're going to get your lats to kick in quite a bit as well. Five, six, seven, eight. We're going to finish this up with power pulls. Single handed mode, or you can just let one strap drop too. We're going to go eight power pulls on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight, switch sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight. So that's the second circuit all the way through. You'll go back through that one or two more times. So that's a great advanced TRX training workout. And make sure you warm up well beforehand and cool down properly afterward. Thanks so much.